So how many of those different slices can you have per bank? Uh, 6,700, 6, you can have eight. Okay. 6,500, uh, you can have four. Okay, so you don't have to actually have separate, like, you don't have no. to have your separate band, you can no. still, that's really cool. You can put all the receivers in one spectrum, that's or you can cool. have uh, all, one receiver in every, in each different spectrum, or any combination in between. And the first release isn't going to have all eight. Uh, for the 6700, the very, the very, very, very first one probably will not have all eight. But by the time we get to uh, to shipping uh, in the, the end of June time frame, it probably will have the eight receiver. Especially if you know if you're uh, if you're doing like some of the expedition, you can listen to multiple at the same you know multiple signals to see what the guys have. How about the eight receivers? Uh, with the ATUs automatic, uh, I mean, you know, since they were in the control panel, uh, you just, you know, you click the ATU to initiate the ATU, depending on which slice has the transmitter. Whatever SCU, the ATU is only on one SCU, isn't it? No, the the uh, the SCUs are the receive, the receive pass the, the ATU is on the transmitter only. Okay. Yeah, special cap units are only inbound. Yeah. That's hard to think about. Yeah, it's, it, there's a couple of concepts in there that you have to kind of get your head around. That's cool, brother. Thanks for the little tour of it.